the beginning of a video always it's always tough because you trying to figure out the structure and I'm always like, oh, how am I gonna make this good? The story starts off about a year ago. Things were going well with our travel YouTube channel and the future looked optimistic. I wanted to improve my camera presence so I began recording these random video diaries. It's getting close to Christmas. We're about a week away from Christmas. The views have been taken off. Little did I know, I was about to document a household tragedy that would make us question our future travel plans. It all started on Christmas of last year. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Our holiday season got off to a great start. All of our vacations were booked for the coming year and the future looked promising. We were excited to see what the new year would bring. I play a lot of Call of Duty. And my health is better than you. They always beat me to. Cold, snowy night. Winter starting to come. Christmas Day 2022 did not turn out to be the greatest Christmas ever. Today is Christmas. And then let's go see if the presents are big or small. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. You're right, it is a ticket. Hamilton? I got everything I wanted for Christmas and I was so excited. <laughs> Christmas morning was great, but it all went downhill from there. Vacation on Christmas? Not so much. This Christmas has not turned out to be our greatest Christmas. Uh, we woke up, did our regular thing with the Christmas gifts, went over to Brandy's parents' house for a couple hours, come back home to a disaster. We came home from Grandma's and then we opened the door and then we saw our house was flooding through the roof. A water line upstairs busted. Water was just everywhere. It was leaking from an upstairs room down through the ceiling and all over the place. There was water running down the walls. It's pouring out of the light fixtures. It was in the living room, the hallway, and the kitchen. We've spent most of our Christmas day today trying to dry up our house as much as we possibly could, but had to shut the water off, then had to shut the electricity off and trying to clean this up with everything dripping from the ceiling. We ran out of daylight hours. We've had some cold spells here recently. That's a colder December than usual. I think today's high was like 10 degrees or something like that, but the previous days it has been below zero. And yeah, and that, that always causes problems, those extreme temperatures, and it hurt our Christmas. Packed up some stuff to take so we could still enjoy our what was left of our Christmas day, and that's what we're doing now. We're at a hotel. Let's show you guys around. <laughs> Let me first show you the bedroom. Look at these. We tried our best to, to clean up the situation as much as we could today. Expensive fix, for sure. Homeowner's insurance will take care of that, but who knows how long that's gonna take for us to, to, to get that fixed. Sucky situation that we had to spend our Christmas day like that, but it is what it is and you know, we're just gonna make the best of it. It's not gonna bring us down. This isn't nothing, some home damage. I think it's gonna be okay. We bought the house 11 years ago to be our forever home and raise a family in. We needed something affordable that we could grow into. So when this foreclosed house came on the market, we pounced and landed a pretty good deal. It just needed a lot of updates. Being young and tied down with student loan debt, we decided to hold off on major renovations and pay off student loans instead. We stopped overindulging in our day-to-day -day life and created a tight budget. But quickly, we realized that you can't be a slave to your debt. We were going to spend all other discretionary expenses on experiences not materials. From there on, we would make vacations a priority every year. And later on, created this YouTube channel. 
I just knew the channel was gonna be about family. I was into travel vlogs, watched a lot of travel vlogs. Brandy and I did travel quite a bit compared to most of the people that we knew. Never put two and two together that I was actually gonna make the whole series around that, but eventually that's what, what it kind of morphed into. And now I was worried that this could be a huge setback. Our house was annihilated, a lot more damages than what I initially thought. It took us a couple days to get a hold of our insurance company. We contacted a restoration business to come in and try to salvage what they could of our house. They dried up what they could and demoed the rest. We would not be going home anytime soon. Plumbers determined that some water lines running through an upstairs attic space had frozen due to poor insulation. Water line in an upstairs shower, flooded the bathroom, went into the other rooms, and then just rained on down into the downstairs rooms, which is mainly our kitchen, living room, and hallway. But some of the other rooms were affected because it got down in the walls, and they don't screw around. Any little bit of drywall that is wet, if it's got any kind of moisture on it, for the most part, they're ripping it out because they don't want to take any chances of there being mold or anything. We're going to be out of our house for maybe up to six months. We've been living in a hotel for the last week, and we're supposed to be moving into some other place here shortly, which we don't know exactly where that's going to be. A lot of things thrown on us right at the end of the year. I think I would be a little bit more upset about this, but I'm really not. Because to me, like none of our valuables, our like personal possessions were damaged. It was mostly just like our house. We had some furniture ruined and stuff, but that's about it. Usually going through these kind of things can make you stronger as a family, make you closer. And since we are closer, we have a lot less space. I see a little bit more quality time. It's gonna be a good thing. This is gonna be good. I got a feeling it's gonna turn around and it's gonna be a great year. We met with the general contractor and insurance adjuster to begin the process of repairing our home. We all walked through our house together so both sides could get a written scope of the damages caused by the accident. The contractor then submitted an estimate for the repair of damages to the insurance adjuster. Meanwhile, insurance would pay for our housing while we were put out of our home. So we just continued living as normal as possible while waiting for the next step. So we've been living in this hotel for the last month. Living the hotel life. Here recently we've, we've moved all of our stuff out, like everything. This is my garage. And these are all of our possessions. And then they dropped this storage container in our back driveway and we stuffed everything in this portable box. And we're gonna be moving into an apartment that is for lease month to month until our house gets done. We moved into our new place today. Today we just moved. Today was moving day. Brandy heard of this place from a friend, jumped on it. A lot better than living in a hotel. This is such an upgrade. I can now do my own laundry. I don't have to go to the laundromat. I can cook my own meals for the first time in 37 days. I don't know who's been counting. I'm just having a space of our own is gonna be very nice. I like this area. I like the living room. Here's our chair. This is really good. I like this one. It's comfy. It's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. I just like having my own space. I like it. We lucked out. This place is fully furnished. It's got everything you need. It's basically like staying in an Airbnb, which makes it easier for us because we don't have to move too much stuff in and out. We've already moved once, twice, but we don't want to get too comfortable because we know that we're gonna have to move all of our stuff out of here one day. I think it's gonna be three months. That would be my guess, but you never know how this is gonna go. Insurance denied our contractors bid. They thought the costs were way too high. This was not good news. Would we have to cancel all of our vacation plans for the year? Hell no. And in March, we went on a cruise. And then spent a weekend in Nashville and just continued on with life. Besides, our contractor said that this was part of the process and we trusted them. I don't know what the future of Famable holds, but I hope it's better than this. Eee. <laughs>
It's been three months. Nothing has been done to our house. It's like down to the studs right now. We've been back and forth with the insurance company and our contractor. Our contractor says we need this much to get the job done. And the insurance company says, no, no, this is the, the amount that you need. Your contractor's prices are way too high. The insurance company lowballed us. They cut us a check and sent it to us. I get the check, I'm like, nah. So we're going back and forth. Really, our insurance adjuster, he, he worked with us. There's a game that gets played there with, with that whole thing. Anyway, we stuck to our guns and the insurance company wouldn't budge. We can't come to an agreement. So now the insurance is hiring another company, a third party company, to come up with competitive es estimates against our contractor. And we'll see how those match. We thought that we were gonna get this going. Our contractor's ready to start as early as the next week, but now we have to start this process probably all over again. And it's just so frustrating with everything that's been going on. There's a lot of things, so much, so much in one year. This, this year has thrown a lot at us. Yeah, here's my kitchen. This wall. We want to get rid of this wall. In the coming weeks, the insurance company hired a separate contractor to come out to our house to do a competitive quote on the cost of damages. When the company representative came to our house, he immediately realized that the insurance estimates were way too low. In fact, he found more water damages that were of concern to him and added that to the total cost. So we waited and a few days later, all that information came back to us in an email. The quote was higher than our original contractors. Having a little bit of a moment here. <clears throat> we just found out that we're actually gonna get the money that we needed to complete this project. The insurance company just released the money and we had a little bit of extra money to work with. So we're taking advantage. We had planned on in the future doing some things with the kitchen anyway. So it's like if you're having a contractor come in, you might as well do the things that you were gonna do in the first place. So we're gonna pay out of pocket for some things and do some upgrades on top of that. Yeah, so our house is gonna be like a new house. The work is finally gonna get done on our house. So in May, we officially hired our original contractor to do all the work. It's May and so far our house is turning out pretty well. The whole process is going a lot faster than what we were expecting. Once the workers got in there and, and started doing some work, we started seeing some progress. Recently, the wall was removed in between our kitchen and the living room. Just changed the whole look of our house. We got our cabinets ordered. The whole kitchen figured out a lot of decisions in a short period of time for everything, like where light switches go, where fixtures and lights and flooring. Eventually we'll be looking at paint colors. It can get overwhelming, but I think we're doing pretty good with it. So everything is going good. So far to this date, we've been out of our house for five and a half months. We have spent a good portion of today trying to figure out paint colors. And we were told that we should probably figure out this whole paint thing very soon. Lots of decisions to be made today. So we go to the store and we pick out some paint samples and uh, we don't like a single one. I could think of like a million other things that I could buy with $44 that would make my life much better than the paint that I'm never gonna use. Man, I'm just frustrated. And I don't even know what light is gonna go right there. I need a light right there. Pendant lights going right here. There's gonna be an island right here. We don't even have that figured out. Decisions. Did I mention that we are under a tornado watch right now? I really hope that the roof doesn't blow off on my house because if I have to make another freaking homeowner's insurance claim, they're going to drop our ass. July, for the most part, was a normal month for us. Ooh. We continued doing summer things like family get-togethers, camping, and cookouts. You know, outdoor activities because Ohio summers are great. Look at base. Country boys can't survive. We would visit with our head contractor every week to go over the details and finances of our house project. We were getting very close to the end and decided to do some extra work to help cut down on added costs. So we are painting, painting pretty much the whole house, all except for one room. We have a mixture of me doing some of the painting and the painters, but 
flooring is gonna happen in like five days. So once the flooring happens, we're hoping to be back in our home in 35 days. I'm excited to move back in. <laughs> I've already cleaned my glasses off like three times. I had so much paint on them. I feel like I did a bomb job. I've spent 29 hours painting this week. You're hired. Thank you. Let's go! This year has been a very trying year, but I feel like I've persevered. I have been very calm, cool, and collected until two weeks ago. At the beginning, I felt a lot of uh, unity in our family, and then life continued, and then I felt the first bit of frustration, which I think is pretty good considering we're moving in in a couple weeks. There have been some positive things that have happened along the way that have kept us going. We got two more weeks, and we get to move into our house. I'm so ready. The summer has just passed us by. I'm just ready to get into my house. All of our possessions have been in our garage in the storage container for the last nine months or so. I'm gonna be so glad tomorrow. It's going out. We got movers coming. They're taking it all out, moving into the inside, getting this house cleaned up. The process starts. We're not quite moving in today, but we are getting all of our stuff moved from the garage, from our storage bin, into our house. Today is the day where it all changes. I think we can continue this. It gives me content that I can just keep doing. We, we get to go places that have different experiences and it's memories that I have put into such a watchable format. It's been a long, long, long nine months. So we're gonna paint this. My channel analytics are like dropping like crazy because I can only put out a video every so often. It's been so busy. We're still going on a vacation while making plans for all this. Just There's just a lot going on. Everything got moved in today. The house is kind of an absolute disaster. But our stuff is in our home. We are very excited. We have a lot of things to do. But we'll be staying here very soon. Love it. It's beautiful. I've been here at the house today for officially 13 hours. Did a lot of work, my feet hurt. Gonna go back to the apartment, get up in the morning and do it all over again. And then after that, it's the day that we move back in. Yes. Halfway through the month of August, we moved back into our house, but I greatly underestimated how long it would take to get everything back to normal. It's been a week since we've moved in and still, Crazy. But Our house is uh, uh, still very much at this point a disaster. We have boxes everywhere still. But you know, Crazy some days situation. we get it all cleaned up and it's clean. Move and then we in. move it back Actually, in. our garage is still has tons of stuff in it. There is just so many little things to do. There's just like little things and boxes that just need to find a place. Now I have my own quiet space. Once again, my garage is a mess still though. So many things out on my garage. I go in there and I'm like, oh my God, I don't even want to deal with this. First, we had thrown stuff away when we moved everything out. Now we're throwing things away as we declutter and reorganize. Finally getting rid of some junk in this garage. Cleaning up house today. It's become quite the chore. We got a big dumpster that we're throwing everything in. Ow! Oh. Got that one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This used to be my big sister's toy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. We got uh. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah, this looks good. I'm not sure what this is, but see you later. What? You wanted that? We're keeping that? For a garage sale? <laughs> Empty toolbox. I don't think anybody uses these anymore. We're having a little get together tonight. Some family and, and close friends. This will be the first time anybody's seen our house and uh, it'll be nice to, to see everybody. This is kind of like the final chapter of moving in, really. And there's so much room to play. Are you excited to be home though? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun 
It's been real, apartment. I'm ready to close this chapter of our lives. It's been a rough year. That's for sure. It's good to be home. In the end, it all worked out for us. We got our house fixed up, and we didn't have to cancel any vacations. Other than being extra busy, living in a hotel and apartment, 2023 had remained semi-normal. I've lived here since I was seven, so it's kind of crazy how much the house has changed, but also how much it still feels like home after 11 years. My favorite thing that I'm living here now is like now playing with my friends. I haven't played with them in a while. Although there are other hardships that we're not gonna share. For the most part, we put everything behind us now. We paid off our student loan debt, and after a few weeks of living in our house, we had a small get together with family and friends. Today is the day where everybody gets to come and see the house. It is our annual fall party. I'm excited to have all of our friends and family scaled it down this year. But yeah, we're about to have a bunch of people in here. The house is so clean right now, and it's about to not be. The beginning of a video always, it's always tough, because you trying to figure out the structure and I'm always like, oh, how am I gonna make this good? And then eventually at some point, I turn it around and make it a decent video. <laughs> Man, I'm getting emotional in this house. <laughs> all the memories, all the memories. We used to sit in this couch and watch all of our favorite travel YouTube channels. Well, not that couch. That couch is actually a new couch. The old couch. The old couch that used to be there. We used to watch our favorite travel YouTube channels. It's been good, but uh, you gotta get out of here. Um, I would let, I would show you my whole house, but I can't because that's just weird and I don't want that being out there on the internet. We can't have that. But uh, I'll talk to you later. See you later. You have a good, good time, okay? Bye. Actually, I'm gonna need that. That's, ugh. Got travel videos to make. I'm gonna need my camera. I am so glad this is all over with. I need a vacation. What do you think? Me too. Thank you.